Hey, hey, it's Ken Gagney with the YouTube channel GameBits. Here to continue my Let's Play of the first tree for the Nintendo Switch. I am a little fox who I can clearly rotate without moving his legs. That's a neat trick. And I have passed through the seasons of winter and spring, and now I am continuing my journey. Now, I started by facing that direction, but I see some sparkles over here, so I'm going to go this way. hope I'm not going too far off the beaten path here. I guess the game wants me to do a little bit of work by not just going in whatever direction it points me in. I don't know if this is now summer, if there are four seasons. I presume there are more than four areas or worlds to this game because it's supposed to be a two-hour game and it took me about a half an hour to go through the first two seasons. So at that rate, I would complete the game in an hour, assuming there are four seasons and that they are all equal. What's that little thing over there? Oh, it's a speak and say. Wow. I haven't seen one of those in a while. So there must be a memory associated with that. And I see a light shining into the sky. And usually that means there is a memory to be found in that direction. So I'm going to head that way. The game is usually pretty clear about what it wants you to do. There's maybe a little bit of wandering, but... I never really feel lost. And I think that's a good thing. So this must be the road that I was expected to go down. I don't know what I got out of going on the detour besides some sparkles and a speak and say. Let's, uh... Oh, there's a couple of things going on here. Let's interact with this one first. Even at my most distant... At the times when I detested him the most, he kept reaching Knife. out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Smart. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we'd always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, huh. almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet, or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. I hadn't even carved it. My dad had helped me, but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up, and we talked about everything that night oh, in that old wonderful. camouflage tent. I told him how much I loved sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to realize it, but it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed wow. for me. I'm pushing the A button. One more. Oh! Guess I just had to do it at the right angle or in the right spot. Okay, so I need to find two more obsidian rocks. Or else I'm not going to get past that bramble. I like that story. I'm glad he finally opened up to his dad. My dad was not a great listener. He was quick to pass judgment to provide his own take. He wouldn't ask me why I thought something. He would just respond with what he thought about it. We weren't much for camping. I don't mind that. 
That's not something I think I would have enjoyed. But... We did go fishing. <laughs> and now I'm a vegetarian, so I guess I didn't like that either. Uh, I, I was never signed up for Boy Scouts or Karate Lessons or Little League. But we did have Star Trek in common. We did enjoy that. Although, even though he's the one who introduced me to it, I think in the end I enjoyed it more than he did. Alright, well, well, I found something over here. This is a very large, seemingly obsidian rock. But they want me to find small ones. Small enough to paw at. Speaking of my paw... <laughs> Let's see. I wish there was a map, because... Whoa, I am feeling a little turned around at this point. Alright, let's go get those. Oh, did I somehow miss that one? I sure did. I double jumped like I was supposed to, but I guess my timing was off. Also, since when can Fox double jump? Got it. There's a little, little passageway here I can sneak through. Where am I going? Clearly somewhere I'm supposed to. Oops. Ha. <laughs> Way off on that one. Huh. Alright, let's just keep going this way. The, the content of these stories, the detail, the emotion behind it, I really do think this is a true story. Not to say that stories like this can't be made up. Surely they can. But given that I think this game is the work of primarily one person, I feel like he has something to say. I don't think he would make a game like this and not put himself in it, given that the story is clearly personal. Huh. I thought there would be a story associated with finding the additional rocks. But nothing happened with that one. Is there an easy way out of here, or do I need to go back the way I came? Uh, can I... <laughs> can I get out of here? Please? Okay. Working on it. Okay, so I'm back up to here, which is where I was a moment ago. Is there anywhere else that wants me to go from here? I don't think so. This all looks... Why would they make me go in and out? Like, just there and back again? Huh. I'm sure this is the way I came now. It is. So, one more rock to find, and I may have missed a story. This is not a 100% let's play. This is a first play. I've never played this game before. I bought it a year ago for three bucks. It had been on my wish list, which I keep track of on a Trello board. And I, this week, finally decided, you know what? Oh, there's something. I want to play a game, so I pulled up my Trello board. And uh, on my board, I can keep track of all the games and their average Metacritic score and how long they take to beat. And this game said so it took two hours to play. I'm like, two hours? That's a four, about a four-part Let's Play. I can do that. And I know I haven't been Let's Playing much lately. When I do post videos, I appreciate all the people who say, Hey, Game Bits, you're back. 
And I don't really feel like I left, but I am aware that I've been producing a lot fewer videos. And even videos like this, they're not going to get as many page views as a PlayStation 5 unboxing. I understand that. That's not why I do it. This is a game that I want to play anyway, and I thought I would share it with y'all. Regardless of how many or how few that people are. So I see that shiny part. I know there is something to interact with over there, but I don't know if I need to find somewhere to climb up or like this, find a little hole to go through. Haha. -ha. It's a good thing to be a fox. A little sneaky, adaptive fox. Now where did that beacon go? I seem to have lost sight of it. Oh no, am I... Oh man, I end up back here? I am so turned around. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Was I not asking for a map? Did you not hear me say, I wish there was a map? Okay. There was a beacon, though. Okay, so I, I clearly came from this way. But isn't this where I was saying... That's not 100% Let's Play? I do feel like I'm going in circles here. Well, let's get out into the open. And see what we can see. Yeah, okay, so I took a right there, and I ended up... What is going on? There's clearly something there. I know that I'm just going right back to where I was a moment ago, but... I mean, you all see that, right? It's not just me. How do I... Is this just the si oh fudge, I fell. Ugh, it's just pointing me to the thing I already found. What's the point of that? Ah. Well, sorry to waste your time on that again. That seems like a game design flaw. Here's a beacon to show you how to find the thing you already found. You wouldn't see that in Assassin's Creed, or so I presume. I've never played it. That's right. None of them. Not consciously avoiding them, I just... Nowadays, I only have a Nintendo Switch. I have a PlayStation 4 in storage. And tons of older consoles, like a GameCube, Wii, Wii U, N64, Dreamcast, 3DO, Jaguar... But right now, in my life, I travel a lot, and the only thing that travels well of all those systems in which I can play without knowing whether or not I'll have a television is the Switch. That is a boombox. All right. Okay, I'm clearly going to go up there next, but I also want to see what's over here. I thought I saw... Uh, it's just a fence. Okay. Keep foxes out, maybe? This kind of feels like an area I've been to in a different season. Maybe it's just all blurring together after a while. This is new. Oh, one, two, three, and memory. We were happiest underneath the evergreens. We decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer. 
He was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching, and then we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before evening fell. Sometimes, the aurora borealis would cast wow. a cold green glow on the mountainside, and we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes, I was lonely during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house... I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. But then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that That's question. not a helpful response. That's not supportive. Like, he has this deep question, and your response is, you're not the first person to think of that. Like, thanks. That doesn't make it any less momentous or of import. And this is a boat. With a fishing rod. And what's that over there? Oh, didn't mean to jump quite that high. First aid kit. Hat. Alright, still looking for the third obsidian rock. I am now assuming the beacons are to the rocks I have already found. Except that looks like a memory. So let's go see what's in there. Huh. Just on a hillside by itself. My dad built a lot of stuff in his free time. If he wasn't watching fly fishing or reading Tom Clancy novels, he was carving something. He made tons of birdhouses. Not that he was into bird watching, but I think he really missed working and adding on to the home. If he couldn't afford the time to build onto our own house, he would have to settle with watching birds move into their little homes. We kept an old mattress in the bed of that ugly yellow truck, so we would drive it deep into the woods and then watch the birds fly into their houses while the sun set. Usually it was accompanied by venison jerky or a cold coke, but not a lot of talking, which is how we both liked huh. it. Now I came to a fork in the road. Oh, I think this is where I started. Huh. So I just realized that when I dug up the memory about mapping the acres, I forgot to look at the object that the fox dug up. I'm gonna have to go back and watch my own Let's Play to see if I can catch it. There's a Coke and a mattress. To see if I can spot it in the video, if I even loitered long enough for it to show up in the video. Sorry if I skipped that. I guess I was just uh, eager to hear what had to be said and forgot that there was a visual component to it. Whoa, flying fox. That was fun. Oof. Oh no, oh, oh, fox. No. Oh. All right. There we go. And I saw some over here on this little outcropping of a ledge, which I have to gingerly get and then turn around. Bright eyes. And go back to where I came from. Oh, there's another jump. Great. Uh, this is not a great platforming game. The controls are a little floaty. The angles are very angular. Ugh, barely saw that coming. I almost fell. And there's the third rock. Just like that. Now I can just plummet to my death and land on all fours. Great. I'm guessing that thorny 
patch of briars that I saw earlier is probably cleared now. But there's another memory over here, so I'm going to go get that first. Hmm. Oh, and there's a... Is that a cabin? At first I thought it was a tent. But now it looks like it's the top of a building. It's weird. Why is only the top there? On our property, there were old well, abandoned why. pieces of a shed and car long left unused. I used to ask him all the time who those people were that left all this junk. And I'm sure he got so tired of hearing it that he made up some elaborate stories how a brown bear ate them and haunted the woods afterwards. What's funny is I think it made those people seem more real. Growing up thinking they were still hanging out like they couldn't say goodbye. I used to tell my friends how I could swear I saw spirits move near the water, and that always freaked them out. I guess it didn't bother me, because the way I saw it, they were normal people with old cars and sheds, just trying to figure out how to survive and be happy in the middle of nowhere. It was a cool thought that they didn't want to leave, <laughs> but you know, I was a weird kid. Well, you had good company since those ghosts like living in a place where they were brutally devoured. <laughs> Alright, more sparkles. Oh! Crap. So at the end of the game, does it count and say... You lived a good life by getting this many sparkles. You get to proceed to Fox Afterlife. Or, I'm sorry, but your Fox life was not well spent, so you have to do it again. Start the game over and get more sparkles to get the good ending. Man. Yeah, I was right. Totally called it. And are those sparkles? They are. Filthy little sparkles. Man, that's gonna be a hard one to get. Ah! Uh, eh! Oh! Okay, I got it. Any on the other side? Yup! And if I hadn't looked, I wouldn't have caught it, so how many do you think I've missed because I wasn't looking? Ah! Uh. Wee! I'll struck a little Superman pose there. Super Fox. The perpetrator stood nearby, unfazed, like nothing was wrong. My dad is dead, and he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry. For everything. Huh. It killed my kit. I have two kits, though. Come back here! What have you done? Oh, boy. No way I'm going to get all of those. I already missed one. Oh, there's another one. Can I even go back if I wanted to? I don't think I can. I don't think I want to, so there. I missed another one. Those. That's easy enough. Man, this game is getting dark. I didn't know his dad was going to die. It's not like he died either. He was just suddenly dead. <sighs> Without so much as a trigger warning. Great. Zoom in on the fox. Alright, where am I going? What am I doing? 
I look like I'm descending into Hyrule after Ganon has taken over Hyrule Castle. That is going to be a weird crossover. Am I looking for my last kit? Am I looking for revenge on the Predator? That's the lowercase p, by the way. This is not an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I do like the soundtrack, though. I wonder if I can buy it separately. Pop in there. Oh, is that a new memory? This is a very long time to go without a loading screen. And it's certainly not the first game to deal with having lost your father. A Life is Strange Before the Storm, which I also let's played on this channel. That was a big aspect of that game. I don't know if that's just the kind of game I'm drawn to. I didn't know this was going to be about it. I didn't know much of anything about this game other than that it's Dart of Fox. And not the kind that injects Solid Snake with nanites either. Fox die. I need to go to bed. I just can't talk about this anymore. Good night. Wow. So you pulled up a memory uh, that you couldn't even talk about. Does that suggest I did something wrong? Is there a way for me to have gotten more out of that artifact I just dug up, if I'd gotten more sparkles? Is that, like, coffee that keeps the narrator engaged? I do not know. And there's Death Mountain. And there's the end of the chapter. Stay tuned for more.